Hi Navy Facebook fans, I hope you are joining us here at Sea Air and Space and with me right now we have Rear Admiral Manazer, the Deputy Chief of Naval Operations for Warfare Systems. How are you doing today, sir? Doing fine, Admiral Lynn. It's great to be here at Sea Air Space. All right, so earlier we were, we were chatting about systems of systems. Can you tell me a little bit about the systems of systems approach and why that's important for the Navy as we move into the future? So the systems of systems approach takes the capabilities that we bought in, in individual platforms and combines the capabilities to get to a better result. Um, the challenge technologically is uh, each of those things we bought was built by a manufacturer or two, but the challenge technologically is to be able to connect uh, the system built by one um, contractor to a system built with another contractor to take the technical capability and put them together to get to a higher result. Mm -hmm. In order for us to capitalize on the, the synergy of those systems, you have to think about an integrated warfare construct, which is nominally called System of Systems. Got it. Okay, and now I know also in your speaking event that you just left, you were talking about live virtual constructive training. Can you tell us some of the benefits? Sure. So let me define live virtual constructive for you for a second. So live is, is the live airplane or a person on, on a, a live bridge on a ship. And to be able to take their experience and connect it to a virtual environment, which would be a simulator. Okay. Um, and then those live uh, players uh, and people in simulators are now connected in the same constructive environment, so computer-generated environment. Think, think about a game mm -hmm. like, like Halo or Call of Duty, a, a game that everybody's immersed in. Some of the players are actually in live platforms. My greatest technological challenge is to be able to use an NSA-certified waveform to be able to take the information off the live node, the airplane or the ship, and move it into the virtual environment to be able to protect the information coming off. We are already using the virtual constructive environment to immerse uh, warfighters in, in the environments they're going to be fighting in and connecting them across geography, so across coast or, or across uh, large uh, geographic areas. The other piece about live virtual constructive is we have to go into that realm to be able to train to the high end level that we're going to have to go fight in this competitive world because we can't quite train in the open air. Um, the, the we will divulge our capabilities if we do that. So the combination of the security aspect of doing it immersed and also the geography limits that we have with our ranges makes us go to this live virtual constructive training. This sounds like some pretty innovative stuff. So I know CNO talked about innovation yesterday, but in your new role, what are you most excited about in regards to innovation? So what I'd like to do in my new role is, is um, is energize the, the community that's out there with all these new technologies. So if you walk around the floor here at Sea Air Space, you see these wonderful ideas. I get business cards passed to me by the hundreds and saying, Admiral, you gotta come see this, you gotta come see that. How do we take those innovative technologies that are down here on the floor and connect them in a warfighting way using the processes that we have in the, in the Department of Defense, like the DOD 5000 or the, the JSIDS process to put those things into fruition? How do we demo more? Um, and so I'm excited about what, what you know, things like the power of our, our, our mobile communication devices, um, the computing power that goes into our, you know, our mobile tablets. We're moving mobility into our cockpits, onto our ships, onto the battlefront. How do I take that technology and continue to innovate? My challenge is, as I build a program of record mm -hmm. on the DoD 5000 with adjacent requirements base, and I start that program of record, it's kind of in a pipe that I can't get into. Mm -hmm. Well, what if that system, I have now some new technology that I can input in that system and make it better. How do I get that technology in? And that's, that's the, 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 what I'm trying to do. So I'm trying to ask the right questions to get excited about this kind of a thing so that I get people coming back to me and saying, we need to use this kind of, look, look at it, you can use this technology to do this over here, and then go and demonstrate it, be willing to fail, use the early adopter model in the military to manage our risk, and, and, and try to get some, some capability out of that. I think that technology is, is just going away from us, and we have to grab a hold of that, take advantage of what they're doing in the commercial world and bring it into the military world. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much, sir. I know that you are incredibly busy, so thank you for your time with us today. And for our Facebook fans, be sure to join us. We'll be right back here tomorrow on the U.S. Navy Facebook page.